Hey everyone, Ioni here. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I broke my camera in the Galapagos, which was really upsetting, and I've been in Peru and just struggling with the altitude and eating dodgy food and just feeling really um, not very well. But enough excuses, here's what I got up to in Cusco. I flew from the Galapagos into Cusco and had an eight and a half hour layover in Lima, but I managed to make the most out of it. So I've just got to Lima and my friend Colleen introduced me to her friend Brianna, who's introduced me to her friend Erica. So I'm just gonna go meet them for a drink make some friends in this new town. I hung out with these really lovely ladies and Erica and I continued to hang out and party the night away until about 3.30 in the morning, wandering around Miraflores in Lima. It was really fun. And then I had to go to the airport to catch my flight. I arrived in Cusco and was exhausted from having no sleep the night before. Went straight to the Healing House, which was recommended to me by two people. It's a place that you can do yoga teacher training, yoga classes, Reiki, massage. There's accommodation there. It's just a really lovely community of nice people. And so, I spent a few nights there. The next day I did a free walking tour of Cusco. It's a beautiful city and I just loved walking around it. The tour guide was lovely, but just not very interesting. I thought that with a walking tour that they would point out the different things that you were seeing and kind of talk about it so that you know what you're looking at, but it, it wasn't really like that. I would still recommend trying it though because you never know, you might have a fantastic tour guide and it could be amazing. The next day I went on a rather epic adventure. Up at 3 a.m. about to do a tour of the Rainbow Mountains. Can't believe I'm up at this can't believe I'm up this early, but I think it's going to be good. Yay! <laughs> my tour guide! <laughs> I booked it with Wonderful Machu Picchu, a tour company. It's super cheap, about 20 US dollars. It's a very long, grueling, exhausting day. You drove for three hours to the entrance, then you have to hike for another three hours. So I'm halfway up to the Rainbow Mountain and it's really hard, so I keep stopping because of the altitude. So I had to get a horse because I was just too exhausted to make it to the top. When we got there, the scenery is just beautiful and the mountain has these rainbow colors because of the minerals in it. It's absolutely stunning. I struggled with the altitude though, had to hike back for three hours and then it was another three hour drive back to Cusco. So all in all, a very long day, but if you like hiking and like nature, it's perfect. The next day I did some yoga at the Healing House. I hadn't done yoga for this whole trip, so that felt fantastic. Afterwards, they have this Sunday brunch where you pay about 10 soles. One of the guys there cooked a delicious brunch. Good morning, everyone. So I was supposed to be going to Machu Picchu but I decided to stay in Cusco for longer because I just really like it here and one of my lessons on this trip is that if you like staying somewhere just stay don't leave so I checked into Hotel Plaza de Amas which is this fantastic hotel right on the plaza like right in the hub of it in the center of town they've got a restaurant and a bar that overlooks the plaza so it's a great place to go and as the sun's setting and just enjoy the plaza basically very lovely I went on a nice little trip with Julia from the Healing House to the Temple of the Moon which is these ruins that you can walk to. That was really fun. Buenos dias, everybody. So it's my last day in Cusco and I'm taking myself on a walking tour to see some of the things I haven't seen yet. The first stop is Cristo Blanco, which is this giant statue on the hill so that you have a whole view of Cusco. I got attacked by stray dogs on the way there. I'm a little bit shaken up having been just attacked by dogs. Uh, so hopefully I'll find this place and get there in one piece. Oh. After that, I went and had a little sneak peek at the Sex Eye Woman ruins, which are really cool. You have to pay to get in there, but I just kind of had a look from the outside because I was being cheap. So I was just walking by, walking around in Cusco, and I met Elena, who follows uplifting content and has been following my adventures mm -hmm. and is doing the same thing. So it's, um, it's great. You, could, you should do it, especially if you're a woman traveling solo. It's worth it. Do it. <laughs> Totally agree. I had a few cool nights out at Mama Africa, which is this bar club between 9 and 11 p.m. every night. They have free salsa classes, which are so much fun. I went another night with some really cool people that I met as well. Buenas noches, everybody. I'm just on my way to do some belly dancing at the Healing House. I've had a weird day. I just felt like a bit uninspired and, I don't know, weird. But I think that belly dancing will make me feel great. Also check out Fallen Angel, which is this amazing bar, restaurant, and hotel by this artist, and it's like really trippy, but very cool, and a really fun place to go. And that was it for Cusco. It's a really lovely city. I would definitely give it a few days there. I'm now in Bolivia, and by the time you see this video, I'll likely be in La Paz. I don't have many recommendations yet, so if you've got suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. But that's it for now. Thanks, guys. Bye.